all right everybody we are live and today I'm going to show you how to re how to yeah how to do a CD cover just like this so let's get to it so we have our Photoshop open and our file size is 10 by 10 300 resolution okay so i already downloaded the images i'm gonna leave, leave the link on the bottom of this video so you can find the images that i used so the first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna go to file place i'm gonna download the road that i picked i'm gonna press alt and i'm gonna click on the corner bracket and increase the image right here and then i'm gonna go and do the same thing with the car Right. And I put it right here so we have to make sure that we have a good depth of field obviously the image doesn't look good because it's got this little box or line right here so to solve that you click on the image you press on the layer mask you press B on your keyboard and then you just mask it real quick there you go and then once you have that you go into your file place again grab the grunge background that I picked so we can either stretch it we can either stretch it increase the size by what I showed you by pressing out in the corner bracket or you can do this just press shift and just stretch it like this so it looks more like a circle in the middle right and then you press enter and then you go into your cut into your modes you play with your, your modes and you find something that's going to be tasteful for you guys so i'm going to find something that's very tasteful for me furthermore there we go this is something that i like it looks very cartoonish so once i have that i'm going to press the letter t on my keyboard and i'm going to i'm going to press the letter t on my keyboard and i'm going to click anywhere and i'm going to Put a title for it. If I want to increase the text, I press Alt and click the corner bracket and increase the text right here. Right? Then I can move it to the center. Then I'm going to press Enter and then I'm going to press the key, the T on the keyboard and then I press Control A to select all. And then I'm going to put from from rags to riches then I'm basically done with my cover and then I clicked on the bracket to select the image I'm gonna press alt to increase or decrease the text press enter and then I'm gonna move it to the center then if I wanted to change the color of my text so I can stand out, I can select it, keep it select, and then I can go to my swatches or my color select here on my properties. Then once I have the text that it's visible, I click OK, and that's it, basically. Then I can add a title on the bottom. I can put, uh, so I'm going to put designed, design. It right here, so this would signify a uh, like the title of the artist or something like that. So, waiting for my computer to finish, so that's in the center. I'm going to change it to white so people can see it. Change the color to white, then that's basically it. So, I like the text here, but it's not visible. So I'm I'm going to change it to one of my favorite fonts, which is Nexa. Nexa Bold, or it could be Nexa Light, regular. Then I can, I can uh, shrink it or decrease the size here by pressing Alt in the corner bracket. Move it down a little bit more. Do the same thing again. And then I can increase the tracking, which is already at 200. I can increase it to like 600 then that's it and it looks pretty good right 
So that's basically it for today. Stay tuned for more. Thank you and have a good day.